I just, okay, we're live. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right, cool. So let's see, how, how can we help today? Okay, so sorry I canceled and a bunch of different times. We got super busy. We, in it, we started a new phone system here at our office and we have like six different locations. So I've had to go like each location, set that up. And that takes a lot of time. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we're ready to jump into Dub. So kind of, um, kind of just like, so I got on, I, I think I got on last Thursday and I uploaded a video and kind of just want to see like the process of how, how to send out a video, do the, just your first video. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just how, how to send out your first video. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Cause I know we want to do one here. Um, I think not this week, but next week. So we're, um, he's, so I, I work for my dad. So, um, he okay. has a financial seminar coming up. And so how it works is he invites a bunch of people to dinner. And so after the dinner, he wants to send out a dub video saying, thank you for coming. I'm super glad to meet you guys. Da, 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 something like that. Okay, um, so that's kind of what, that's what we want to do our first one for. All right. Yeah. Let me just uh, go ahead and grab something in here. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Cause I know you guys had a couple, couple of uh, users on the account, right? I, I could have sworn we did like a group training. I was just trying to find that one to make sure you guys. So have I, access to I that. think the first time we talked, it was me, you and my dad. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, so I know we have four accounts on, um, I'm going to think right, right yeah. now we're kind of in the process of seeing how we want to, um, dub. Okay. all right. All right. So let me go ahead and just jump right in here. Um, one second. All right. I will share my screen with you and this whole thing's being recorded as well. So, um, so all right. Yeah. Um, okay. So, oh, wrong button. All right. You can still see my screen here, right? Or. Did it stop? Um, I can't see it quite yet now. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So, so remind me again. What what tool will you guys be using primarily? Like a Gmail or an Outlook or a CRM? Where do you plan on? So, I mean, that's kind of like where, kind of our first bridge. So we we all have Outlook email accounts. Okay. Um, I think to start out, we'll probably use that. But I know we're kind of interested in using. We use a CRM called Insured Mine. Okay. Um, it's kind of newer. It's for insurance companies. Um, so I guess to start out probably with Outlook. Okay. Um, and then 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 later integrate into insure mine. Okay. Okay. Um, so so how do you guys feel you probably be most comfortable creating your videos in front of your phone or in front of the computer or a combination? So the first, so I actually I uploaded a video to our account. All I did for that one is I just recorded it from my phone of my dad just like standing up. Oh. I just held it up. I'm probably going to yeah, buy that yeah, thing that you yeah, mentioned, yeah. like like the stick holder to make it like not yeah. as shaky. But like you guys, what I remember from the beginning, you said the lower tech, the better, because it seems more yeah. personalized. And that's what yeah. I try to convey to my dad, because he was a big, like, we need a green screen, all this stuff. I'm like, I yeah, yeah. Like, nope. yeah you, you got it right. Okay, cool. So let me go ahead and actually, I'll just cover the, the couple basic ways. What you've discovered there is that's a easy, nice and bread and butter way. You can use yeah. your cell phone to record um, just like you did. Um, you can also use the mobile app. There's some pretty cool things oh, okay. you can do. So the mobile app, you can record directly onto the app using okay. the app's functionality. So you can do some things like start the video facing you. And then if say, if you wanted to switch the camera around and show the office or something like that in the same video, mm -hmm. we can do that on the app as well. Okay. Uh, so there's this little eye icon here that there's going to be a little, it says how a new app tutorial. That's okay. where I would definitely go. Cause it's going to be a little bit easier for you to watch this couple minute video um, to show you on your phone as you're watching it. So okay. that's where I recommend for the app. Um, okay. so, and then you've, you've discovered you can already take a video and upload it to the app and, and do it the same way. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So the other thing is we can use the Dub Chrome extension to create screen recordings. Yep. So you guys need to do things like showing off the website or maybe it's a contract walkthrough or a proposal or yep. anything where you're needing to provide something on the screen. That's going to be done using the Dub Chrome extension. Um, let me go ahead and switch over here to this guest user. Is this your guys? So the first thing you'll notice when you log into your account is it's going to be this link right here, get the Dub Chrome extension. Mm -hmm. And so if you download that, as long as you're on Google Chrome, it will give you that little um, Chrome extension button right there. And then that guy is the screen recorder. So what you have to do is give it a click. It gives you your little webcam feed down here, or it can be your profile picture, whichever you prefer. Okay. And then all you have to do is hit record. And now it's going to be recording your screen. So like I said, if it's a website navigation you're trying to show someone or a contract or a proposal, anything where you need to provide a visual, that's what this guy's for. And you could say, click here, oh, for this, sign here for that, so on and so forth. And then when you're ready to upload that, you just press that check mark, and then that video is on the platform, ready to be customized. Okay, so we talked about the mobile app and the cell phone. We've talked about the screen recorder, and then we also have just regular old camera videos we can record directly onto the website 
I'm just clicking the plus button here. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so now we've talked about how to get the videos onto the dub. Now let's talk about the next thing, which is customizing them. So as you can see here, there's just some videos in my library. Um, here's a random one I uploaded here. And so every video has its own little video page, so to speak, its own little video management page, and then its own landing page. So the idea is to just set this stuff up one time. So for you guys, what we'll do is connect, upload the logo, set up this email signature, maybe build a few buttons. And once we have all that stuff set up once, that way we can set it all as a default. Mm -hmm. and right now, if I hit record, either on my phone, the mobile app, or if I upload an existing video, it's gonna build this whole page for me automatically. And that's kind of what we wanna do is you know avoid editing and you know customizing things um, as we move along. We just wanna have a nice efficient workflow. So we set this guy up one time, you hit record, it's gonna build this page, and then now it's ready to be distributed through either email or text or whatever we wanna use. Um, so you guys mentioned Outlook. So the extension we have or the integration we have with Outlook is gonna be really similar to this Gmail one, um, just one thing different. So pretend I just recorded a video with my cell phone and now I wanna send that through my Outlook email. All I have to do is first make sure the Outlook integration is installed by okay. coming here, which is your settings, and then integrations, and the Dub Outlook add-ins right there. And this is gonna take you to the Microsoft Store. Once the installation's complete, you're gonna have that little Dub icon right inside of Outlook. And you give it a click, and we're gonna, here's that video you just recorded on your cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. All we wanna do is send this through. We do need to enter the email if we wanna track it. So if you wanna know specifically who's watching, what percentage they've watched, things like that, we do need to enter the email here. If you've already entered the email, or if either through a CSV file or manually, you'll see that the, the contact will get pulled up really quickly. So you only have to type in the first few letters. And like I said, this is only important if we want that really specific tracking. If we are you know, sending one video to one person, like it's a custom video just for them, this isn't as necessary because we already know that that's who the video was for. The other thing is we always mm -hmm. recommend putting the first name on it for somebody. So if it's, you know, we're sending a video to Bob, we want to say video for Bob. Just going to make that video look and feel a little bit more personalized for them. Okay. Now, when you send this through text message or email, that, that's exactly how it's going to work with an Outlook. So you guys will have the add-on, you'll give it a click, you'll take the video and just insert it like that. So it's pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, and let me go ahead and delete that. But now what happens when they click this here? Um, whether you're sending it through a text message or email or however you're sending it, when they click on this or on the button, it takes them back to this video page here. Okay. Which I, like I said, I, what we want to do is just set up some of this stuff ahead of time so that it's all going to be ready to go. All you have to do is worry about hitting record. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'd say that that's pretty much the, the, the quick version of that. We're going to dive into some specifics and actually begin doing some of these things for you. Um, okay. So let, let, you ready? We're going to dive into your account. And yeah. Okay. okay. Um, so the first thing is, this is uh, your account here. Looks like you've mm -hmm. already got the logo in there. Let's no, go man. ahead and take that. What's that? I said, yeah, man. I'm, look, I was on there yeah. messing around. I was playing around with it. Yeah, yeah. It looks good. Good. Um, okay. So we got most of the stuff done. Just a couple other things here on this on the video page, I would say. We definitely want um, to just brand this page a little bit more. You can see that email signature section. Uh, maybe yeah. you want to add some more stuff there. Let me go ahead and show you where I do that. So right now, under profile, um, we just have an email and not, nothing else. But if you do want anything else there, um, let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So you see mine has my website, email, maybe some social mm -hmm. links. Any other information you want to include there um, can be done right here under this profile section. So first, you just fill out the information you want to include. Okay. And under video options, choose which of these you want displayed. So right now, you just have your name and profile image, and that's why all that's showing up there. Let's say if we had your website or your email, we all we do is click that email button, and then now the email is going to show up in there as well. So yeah, I'd usually recommend having the contact information or whatever you're open to receiving because it's just a second way of kind of capturing a conversion. Yeah. So in the video, we instruct people to call or email us with yeah. the button. Okay. okay. Um, all right. So the next thing is the call to action buttons themselves. 
let's talk about that. What are some things you're going to want these guys to do after having viewed this video? <clears throat> so, yeah, I think so. This one, this one right here, this is a, um, this isn't, this is actually different. This is a thank you video. So I think, oh. I think definitely for this one, we want to want a Google review. Okay. Um, cause that's the only video I have uploaded right now, but, oh, okay, I, okay. but I definitely a Google review. Mm -hmm. Um, so to leave a Google review then. Yes. 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 To leave okay. a Google review. Um, what would be another one? Probably like an, uh, I would say, I would definitely say like email cause we don't really do appointments that much. Uh huh. Um, so like an email or something like that. And, um, well, let me ask you this. What what ultimately are we trying to get them to do? Because I know you described a couple of different things here. One is that converse meaning follow-up, right? Like, so we, we had a meeting with people and we're thanking them for their attendance and providing yeah. follow-up there, right? Yeah. So what in that use case are we trying to get them to do? What is the ultimate goal we want them to, to do? Um, well, definitely to reach back out and say that they're interested. Okay, okay. So we want them to a hand raise saying, hey, this, this was yeah. interesting. I'd like to start a conversation. Yeah. Okay. That's great. the main thing with this one, yeah. Got it, got it. So then, yeah, we definitely want to, there's a couple of things. One is, let me go ahead and jump back to my page to show you some things here. I know you mentioned you guys don't do a whole lot of appointments. Um, mm -hmm. that's perfectly okay. But what we want to do is open the dialogue up in whatever way we're willing to have that conversation. So if you want to give out your direct phone number, or if you want to use something like a business line, like a Google voice or something, um, that's definitely one way to make yourself available. Um, we can either put a button, which would give you a phone call or a text message, mm -hmm. and also putting the number in the email signature section there will allow people to click it. And if they're on their mobile, they yeah. can call you or text you right from those buttons or mm -hmm. in that signature section. Yeah. The, well, the other so thing, then, so then let me ask you this. Okay, so I know you use Calendly. So like your it says book time with Darius. Yeah. So we don't use Calendly right now. We use Outlook. Does Outlook uh, have an extension for that to book time? Yeah, yeah, so actually Outlook can very easily connect to this to Calendly just like this. So Calendly, mm -hmm. there's a completely free version of it as well. And mm -hmm. this one connects to my Gmail, but you can very easily connect it to an Outlook calendar as well. The okay. only limitation is sometimes if you guys are part of like a big domain, there can be some IT like permission settings where you have mm -hmm. to get Outlook or give uh, Calendly permission to access your Outlook calendar. Um, whereas like if we had a tech team set that up, sometimes there's like a, a firewall or some permissions issue in place of that. Uh, so that's the only time I've seen any issue with connecting Outlook to Calendly. But otherwise, the two are definitely very compatible. Yeah, because I mean, so because if Calendly has a free version, there's no yeah. reason kind of not to use it. Right. Um, exactly. Because I think this would be this should be good to put at the end of a video to go ahead and book time. Exactly. It, it's it's a nice way to capture low hanging fruit. Yeah. So people that are all ready to convert, people are that, that are ready to book a time. You know, we have an option for them to take because yeah. what if they get this video when they're in their car or they're just going into an appointment or something like that where they're not able to give you a call or email or text or something in that moment. But you know, an hour from now or two days from now or whatever does does work. So that that is kind of the idea of setting up your CTAs. Is you know, we have the ultimate thing that we want them to do, which is to raise their hand and say, "Hey, I want to talk." Yeah. But say if they're not quite ready for what we want them to do in the way we want them to do it, we want to have some other buttons or some options for them to take or some information for them to consume to get them warmed up to take those actions we want them to. Um, mm -hmm. So you actually see that here on our page, we have an example of this. So we have this first video where we have like a really irresistible offer, you know, something really compelling that we want to incentivize them with. And then if that all, at all has interested them, then at the end of that video, it actually transitions into hey, another video automatically where this one has more explainer style stuff. It has some infographics and some, some animations and things like that. And so this way we can have a really short and punchy, you know, uh, prospecting message. But then we have a, a bulk of the message where it's repeated and we're not having to repeat ourselves every time. Mm -hmm. um, so there's that workflow. And then there's also the way, as I mentioned, the buttons work. So this is the very bottom. Those are the people that are ready to close. But then we also have, we need to have something for people that aren't quite ready for that. So yeah. if you have some things like a testimonial or client success, social proof mm -hmm. that works really well at that stage. Do you guys have something like that for your business? Like uh, some case studies, testimonial, what does that look like for you? I, I think, I think we definitely could find some, um, mm -hmm. cause this is all so new. We haven't really done anything like this before, but I think it's yeah. definitely something to And I think I could definitely ask, um, my dad and definitely his assistant who helped with that. So I, because I, okay. I do like that idea because it's always like, yeah. like you said, people who aren't ready to fully commit to. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly the idea of those, those, that social proof asset is to just get them over yeah. the finish. 
You know, get, get mm-hmm. like, okay, okay, they've helped all these other people. We, we, yeah. we can spend a few minutes on the phone. Yeah. Um, all right. And then finally, you have some very stuff for what uh, the, the very top of the funnel. So, like, maybe this person didn't even attend the event and we're sending them a video and they can register for the next event. Or okay. maybe it's like a visit the website or meet the team. You uh-huh. know, lots of kind of more of those top of funnel resources. And it all depends on what your guys' business looks like and what resource you have. For me, what it sounded like is maybe register for the next event. Yeah. It would be that top of funnel resource. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I cool. think so. Yeah, yeah. So, so that would be one example of how to set up that particular page for that video of that um, event we were just talking about. But of course, w- whatever else we're doing in the business, so things like a follow up or maybe some automation or whatever the goal of something we're trying to accomplish, that's the idea of building these pages to optimize for that type of conversion. Mm-hmm. So your uh, attendees to uh, an event is you know, very specific. So we want all these buttons and all the information on this page to be really specific to that. Whereas if we're you know, maybe doing some online advertising or we did something else where the lead sources are coming from a different place, we're very well gonna likely structure this page in a different way to make it make the most sense for, for that particular audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, what, what I would say is it sounds like um, we got, got a little bit of homework maybe. Um, yeah. It's just coming back to the kind of drawing board, seeing what t- what we have in terms of social proof. So if you guys have any clients willing to do some video testimonials, we can do a campaign to collect those. Mm-hmm. I also mentioned a campaign for collecting written reviews. I want to just show you something really quick here. There is a nice little video in this section, which really goes specifically into that. It says how to collect video and how to collect written reviews. Okay. So both of these go real deep into how to build a nice little video page to both collect written reviews, like on Google or Facebook or wherever you're collecting them, and then also uh, to collect video testimonials. Um, so this is gonna be a great resource for you guys to, to start with in terms of um, building up some more of those reviews. And like I said, if you already have some, then we can position those as like a button or as a playlist. Um, lots of ways we can we can leverage those. I would say that's probably one of the most important parts here on these video pages is that, that social proof aspect. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes total sense. Cool. Okay. So that's a little bit of homework we got um, to, to collect whatever social proof we have. And if we are, like you said, looking to build up some more, then we definitely want to build a campaign, build a campaign for uh, written and video testimonials. Yeah. Collect some of those while we can. And we also talked about some low hanging fruit. So like that calendar integration. Uh huh. I definitely recommend checking out Calendly. The free version of it will do everything you need it to. And if you have trouble installing it to Outlook, um, it would probably just be a quick conversation with whoever installed Outlook the first time and say, hey, we need a password or whatever it is. Um, Okay, so we talked about a low hanging fruit button, calendar option. Um, We also talked about having that, maybe some more information here, like a phone number or email here as well. Mm -hmm. And and the other CTAs for the middle and and top of funnel as well. So that way we have something for for everyone. Yep. Um, Okie dokie. So I would say that that probably is is enough for homework right now. Um, Mm -hmm. We've talked about a couple ways to create them so that the app the Chrome extension, and then the website itself. Um, the other thing we want to do maybe is a little bit of customization to this page. So the, the blue kind of matches the blue in there already. Mm-hmm. Uh, if we wanted to change it, you can always come into the design, select a different thing there. Um, in the background, insurance is probably not the best word to search for, but we can search for really any any word you want to throw in there. It's okay. going to be some themes. Let me just go ahead and grab one. I just want to show you what it looks yeah. like. So if that blue frames around it, it's going to say saved. There's also a default checkbox. So um, if you find a background you like, you want to okay. apply it to all things, um, it's very easily done. So that's kind of what it looks like. And it just sets a little theme to the page. Mm-hmm. I like that. Cool. Yeah, I, I do like it. It's a little bit nicer than the blank white. Mm-hmm. So yeah, all you got to do is come in there either, like I said, choose any word you want. There's going to be thousands of stock photos to choose from. You can also upload your own image. It just has to be by this 1280 by 720. That's okay. all you need. Um, and then, as I mentioned, there's that default box. So once you find one you like, be sure to check that. And then it's going to build that whole page automatically. Um, the other thing we okay. talked about is ETAs, which also have that default setting. So here in the call to actions, whenever we create one, there's this default CTA uh, field. Anything that auto- that has that default checkbox is going to be applied to a video page automatically. So like right now, if I hit record, it is going to attach these call to action buttons automatically. So it's going to put on that that background image, the logo, this email signature, and then those three buttons that I have selected as the default. 
-hmm. So that's what it's going to build right now if I just hit record, which okay. is the same thing we want for you guys. So leave a Google review sounded like one we want to build um, mm -hmm. maybe a calendar option and then maybe like a top of funnel, like register for our next event. Something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And then I think those three could potentially work as a default for all time. So every video you create could potentially have those videos on there or those, mm -hmm. I should say. Yeah, no, I agree. Cool, cool. Um, all righty. Well, I, I think I've given you enough to, to be dangerous here or get some homework done. And then what, once you are getting to that point or, you, or you've reached that point, you have anything else, you know, don't hesitate to reach out and we'll, we'll help you get to the next line. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Carson, you got anything else for me right now? Um, I think that's it. I, well, can you scroll back up to go back to the, um, like the page where it says, uh, where it says like, uh, type in the email to share. I just want to see okay. how that, uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so that's whenever we're ready, you know. we would I'm type sorry. in like, whenever we're ready to like get going, I'm like, all right, I've got everything set up. I've got all uh -huh. my call to actions done, videos, cool backgrounds, cool. Everything's good. Mm -hmm. I would go right here and I would type in every single person I want to send that to. Right. So like to say, are you going to send this? How large is the list? Is it 20, 50, hundred, or is it like 10? How many? I'm going to say it's me 30. Okay. So if it's 30 people, what I would actually recommend to do is let me go ahead and show you on your account. You have a CSV file with these people on it, right? You would actually come into contacts, import these people. Yeah. Are you sending one custom video to 30 people or is it this, I mean, is it custom video for each person or is it one video to each of those? People? It's going to be the same video to each of them. Okay. So then, yeah, the best way to do that is going to be to take that CSV file. You come in here to dub and you're going to import those contacts as a CSV file. Okay. The, only, the thing you need to worry about is the first three column headers here. Uh -huh. Those need to be exact. So yeah. you have a CSV file. It just needs to have first name, last name, email, no additional spaces, nothing like that. They do have to be exact. So people often will have an additional space in there and it'll cool. cause it to fail. So just be careful with those first three yeah. and the rest can be anything you want. So you take that CSV file, import those contacts, and then you would be able to send a campaign to them. So okay. I would say, what is the name of that list? Uh, do you have like a short name for a tag? Uh, just do like webinar one. Okay. So what we would do is we would import that list. Uh -huh. um, this, this is individuals at a time, but when you do that, when you import the CSV file, you, you can select um, a tag and that's what you would do webinar one or whatever you want those people to, okay. you know, list to be associated with. Makes so now that tag is associated with them. I can come into here, create a brand new email. Um, okay, actually, folks, like we'll have to do some things first. Um, do we have enough time? Okay, we, we have a couple more minutes. Yeah. What is your physical address I can put in here? That is a prerequisite to sending out a campaign. It's, uh, 1904 South Main Street. M A I N or? Yep, Suite 212. And the city is Wake Forest. One word or two. North Carolina. Oh, it's two words. Uh, zip code is two seven five eight seven. Two seven five eight seven. Yep. Two seven five eight seven. Right. Um, okay. So this next step you will have to do on your own um, yeah. is be connecting an email to Dub in order to send these guys out. So do you yeah. guys have Outlook? You said right. No one's using Gmail. No, we all use Outlook. Um, okay, so that might be a little bit harder uh, because Outlook, you have to use the SMTP credentials. Okay. So if I come in here, can, uh, campaign settings, add a new email. You'll see there's a couple of options. So for Outlook, I would have to use the server and port number and things like that here. Okay. Um, so this is one way to do this. And what once you've connected your Outlook here, you can send it out through Outlook. Mm -hmm. The other way we could do that is what you've described is you come in here, hit share and send. And then we would just say, um, what was the, you know, enter somebody's email here. Yeah. Uh, .com. We're going to add that as a new contact. And then I would say video for Darius. And then now I can press that copy. And then now I would go into my outlook and put, you know, Darius dub and, and then send that email as I normally would. So okay. that is definitely a little bit slower. I mean, doing that 30 times would, would not be um, convenient. Yeah. Uh, so there is that method. And then 
if you guys don't have currently another tool to send out any type of broadcast or anything like that, like a so, CRM or something. So we use our new phone system is called Bridge. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Bridge mm -hmm. group. Um, I don't. I don't think that they can send it out through that. Uh, the only way they could do it is through text. So I guess it would have to be Outlook. But okay. maybe. I mean, it sounds like it's easier if you have Chrome to me. So mm -hmm. I set up like an individual Chrome account and send it from there. That's correct. Yeah, we'd be able to really easy connect to Gmail and send out right from there. Very, very easily because we have a nice little um, API I with Gmail. Know. Yeah. So if I just yeah, click Gmail, kind of you got it. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be a little bit easier. There's a nice thousand email a day sending daily sending limit on there as well. Um, so if it's over a yeah. thousand you guys want to send to, then, then we would need something else, but uh, should be fine with yeah. that. Um, okay. So the other thing was we mentioned the copy and paste. This is how you would send a, a direct blast. Um, do you guys have anything else in place right now? Like to so say if you wanted to send one video to your list or one email, I'm sorry, one email to a, a mass number of people, would you be using Outlook for that right now? Yeah. Like a BCC or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So then, yeah, uh, we still could do that methodology as well. So like I can paste this video into an email one time and BCC to everyone. Uh-huh but the tracking won't be as nice. Like it wouldn't show me specifically who was watching, who clicked, things yeah. like that. So yes, yeah, if I want that really detailed tracking, I would either have to send them one at a time or I would use the campaign section here using Gmail mm -hmm. to send that blast out. So, so either one of those ways, either one at a time or using our blasting feature would get you that really detailed tracking. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, um, so there is a nice little video in here again in that uh, tutorial section where it goes into how to build a campaign in depth. It's going to say uh, how to, or dub video campaign management um, right in here. Mm -hmm. is your campaign management. There it is. Um, and then that will show you how to set up and use um, the man the campaign tool. The other thing I would say is, you know, if you need some help, of course, as always, don't, don't hesitate to reach out. We'll be happy to kind of get you mm -hmm. over. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right. Well, like I said, if you do need anything, don't hesitate. Got chat support, email support, and us as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Absolutely, Carson. All right. You have a good day, okay? We'll talk again soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Back in here. Thanks, guys, for, for attending that. Hopefully, uh, some people found some value. Um, let's see here. I think we are... Good to go. Let me see my next call.